What's good with y'all, man? This is Mr. Solo Dillo coming back with another video. So I'm gonna need y'all to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, man. So we finna jump into some truth. We finna jump into a huge topic of pornography. In the last video that I made, I exposed myself. I exposed my addiction of, you know, PMO. And I, I, I let y'all know the truth, that I was a, an addict for eight to nine years. And I just recently surpassed 90 days of no porn. I'm still going. I'm still going strong. I'm fighting through this addiction. I'm, you know, I'm actually putting myself out there in terms of expressing myself and opening up about an addiction that has almost, you know, destroyed my entire life, destroyed, almost destroyed my potential. So I want to explain and I want to expose more truth about pornography in general see pornography is a mass weapon right it's a weapon that is that is targeting your brain your subconscious mind and i feel like pornography is mainly targeted at men because this is a very sexualized world that we live in a very sexualized society and everybody Mostly everybody is motivated in some way by sex, by sexual, you know, intercourse. And I feel like with these people in higher in power, you know, the elites, they made it to a point where it's like they made pornography so addicting to a point where it affects and it, it, it completely negatively imp impacts your subconscious mind. To where it's hard for you to stop watching. It's not even the content you're watching. It's the high that you get from it. It's the high that it gives you. It gives you that instant dopamine rush. That's what it gives you. See, there's a process that goes on. A stage that goes on in your mind. Before you even physically relapse, you're mentally relapsing too. You know, through this stage of saying to yourself, I don't want to watch it, saying to yourself, I, I don't think I should watch it. But really what you're doing is when you when you're saying I shouldn't watch it or saying I don't want to watch something like that no more. You are secretively letting your subconscious mind know that it is OK to watch. You're letting the universe know that it is OK for you to watch. All that tells the universe is, that, hey, go and watch porn. Go go and watch that scene that hardcore scene so that tells yourself most importantly that you're still attached to that addiction and you see with me i had to go through i had to do the work i had to, I had to go through a lot of shadow work to get through this addiction to fight through this addiction And the, and the thing is, pornography is made to destroy men. It's made to destroy men like myself. And see, the porn industry, you have to understand, it's worth billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. People tune in to these inexplicit videos. Women getting raped. You know, all these all these hardcore scenes, all these extreme, you know, scenes that, you know, you may have watched before. The more you consume that, the more it gets promoted, the more it's going to be put out. And you know what? It's not going to reach this video. It's not going to reach a lot of people. But if it does reach at least five, ten people, then that's all I care about. Because I'm trying to talk to all the guys out there, all the guys out there, because we've been contributing to a very underrated problem in our society for many, many, many years. You know, pornography used to be unacceptable to watch. It used to be not accepted into society. But for some reason, it's all backwards. It's all backwards. Now, all of a sudden, it is accepted into society. It's accepted into how the world is nowadays. It's now the norm. 
which is which is ridiculous because it's destroying our mental health and a lot of people are not going to tell you that but pornography is just it's destroying your mental health the more content you're consuming it's like it's it's like you're you're taking in an, an, a, a demonic spirit from the video that you're watching. Those scenes that you're th those scenes that you are watching of those two girls or a guy and a girl. You are taking in that energy from the spiritual realm. You're letting you're, you're letting those portals loose in your around you, right? You you're just you're, you're, you're allowing these portals to get to you, to gain access to you by you watching, by you consuming. And I know this from experience because these are demons that I've been fighting for a long, long time. A long time I've been fighting. But one thing I really notice is the transferring of energy. You don't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to touch the woman that you are watching through that computer screen. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is just watch the scene. Watch the scene, you know, masturbate to it, whatever. And but and just by doing that, you're already transferring energy just by masturbating to what you are watching. Because you are telling, you are telling your brain that I'm sleeping with this chick. That's what's going on here. You're telling your brain, listen, I'm sleeping with this chick. I'm finna, you know, bust a nut on her and stuff. Like that's what's going on here. But it's not really happening. It's not happening in real life. It's not. And first of all, watching two people getting on, man or man and woman, that's weird as shit. That's weird as fuck. But the thing is, I can say it's weird as hell. It's strange. But we've all have been there at one point. We've all have done it at one point. We've all had that guilty pleasure. So the way I see it, man, we've all been consuming pornography at one point in our lives. For a lot of men, the majority, a lot of the men, a lot of guys have been consuming that, that, that type of content. And see, these, these people in power... These producers, these whatever, these uh, adult, the adult film industry, right? They look at that. They look at the audience. They look at the people that are tuning in to watch those videos, right? Millions of people, which is millions of, of dudes. They look at that and they see numbers. They see money. They see people that are, that are interested. They see that as an opportunity to put out more content, to put out more demanding, hardcore, extreme content for you to get off to, which is more detrimental to the actors themselves, the actors who are doing these scenes, the women and the men. It's more traumatizing to them because of what is being asked of them because the audience is so large. The audience it's so big. And that's why a lot of guys have to stop watching porn. A lot of guys have to stop watching. You're not just you're not just doing a danger to your mental health. You're not just fucking up your own life, fucking up your own brain, traumatizing yourself, but you're also contributing to the trauma of these women. That some are forced into this, forced into that industry. You are contributing to also chi child pornography as well. You're also contributing to rape, molestation. Guys and girls, both genders. You are contributing to that. The more you keep watching. And the larger and, and the larger the audience is, the larger these these people in power, the larger their pockets is. The larger the adult film industry's pockets, how large the it becomes. So we so we all have to 
know what the fuck this is doing to our health, our mental health, and knowing what the fuck it's it, what what it's doing to the women, what it's doing to the actors on the other on the other side. Because what you're seeing on the computer screen is not what you think it is. It's not what you think it's supposed to be. There are transferring of energies going on. And by you watching, you are transferring your energy into that computer screen, into what is going on. Now you are cons now you are absorbing that en energy going forward. By doing that, you have let you have let a sexual transmitted demon into your into your space. You let a, a sexual transmitted demon gain access because you open you open the gates for that portal for that demon to make his way in. I'm telling y'all, this, this shit is real. This shit goes deep. It goes deep beyond the cardinal, the cardinal eyes. It's not just the cardinal world, it's it's the spiritual realm. Way beyond, way beyond the physical dimension. And the thing is, another another thing too about pornography is the illusions that is being created. You see, all these producers, they're, they're so busy creating fantasies, putting out fantasies for a lot of viewers, for a lot of viewers to explore. Okay? They do this for a reason. They do this for a reason because these people know how the subconscious mind works. Okay? They know orgasms and moaning is... That's a very, very... Um, what, what's, the, what's, what's, the, what's the word you call it? What's the name for it? It's very... Um, enticing, right? It's very enticing to your mind. What you're hearing through a phone or a computer screen is moaning orgasm like that's really enticing to your to your subconscious mind and it has it has a way of programming you to buy into the illusion of what you're being sold see fantasies are not real we we, we already know this fantasies are not real but the fantasies that they're selling it's real to your subconscious mind because that's what that's what you are believing. That's what you're consuming when you watch these hardcore videos, when you watch these scenes of these actors. They're they're really called actors. These are not real people. These are just actors. They pro they most likely hate their job, hate their career. But they're in the they're, but they're in it too. They're in they're in the the whole agenda of my manipulation. My manipulating you into believing some type of uh, weird fantasy. See, I believe pornography was an illusion. It was an illusion that you sold to your subconscious mind. And now, and now you have to go through the process of detaching yourself, detaching yourself from that illusion that you've been trying to make your brain buy into. And, 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 and for most guys, that's already the case. That's already the case. And it's why a lot of men cannot focus. It's why a lot of guys cannot focus on what they have to get done. They can't focus on their goals. They can't focus on their, their purpose in life because they're so distracted by pornography. They're so distracted by these enticing images, these enticing videos. You know, even on Instagram, all these Instagram baddies, all these Instagram models showing off their goods, showing off that ass, showing off their titties. That's all enticing to the subconscious mind. All those videos are, are all enticing. And it, it creates that illusion once again. It creates that illusion inside your mind. 
to think that you are having sex with this woman, but you're not. This woman that you're seeing through, that you're seeing on a photo, on an image, or in a video, you think you are fucking her, but you're not. You're not. You made your, bra you made your brain believe that you were fucking her. And that's why a lot of guys, a lot of dudes, they waste their energy. They waste too much of their energy, their sexual energy on artificial stimulation. And that's what porn is, artificial stimulation. It, it's a weaponized, it's a weaponized, pornography is, is, is weaponized to brainwash your subconscious mind. To reprogram it into thinking that this is this that pornography is actual sex. It's sex, and it's not really sex. Pornography is is it's a drug, okay? It's a drug. Sex is supposed to be something that is spiritual. Sex is supposed to be a, of an emotion, right? Spiritual. Pornography is nothing. There's there's nothing spiritual. Nothing spiritual about pornography. There's no, there's no, there's no emotion to pornography. All, all, all it is is lust. All it is is lust. All it is is making you commit the sin of lust. All it's doing is embedding lust inside of your mind. And once it's embedded, it's hard, it's hard to get it out. It's hard to get it out. But these people know how powerful the, 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 subcom, the, uh, the, the subconscious mind, they know how powerful the subconscious mind really is. And once, and once it gets hooked onto something, it's hard, it's hard to get unhooked from it. It's like drugs. It's like music, right? Music is, is another type of programming. These, these, these high, low frequencies... You know, there's different tones, different, you know, different uh, flows to music. And depending on the flow and the frequency and the frequency of the music you are listening to, it's going to deeply impact your subconscious mind. And these people know this. You are now... You are now you have now created this perception that all women are sluts because you watch a lot of pornography. Now you have created the perception that all women want to be fucked. Just like just like what you saw on that video of of of, of porn. That that hardcore scene. You think your girlfriend wants to be dugged out like that. You think you you think you you think all these different fetishes, all these different fucking weird shit, weird fantasies, and you try to play it out in real life, and it's not what's that's not what your partner wants. Your partner does not want that. You have to understand that's what you've been that's what you've been fed. You've been fed that fantasy. We have to you have to detox. Detox your, your subconscious mind. And this is going to be an ongoing issue until more and more men step up and warn other guys of this addiction and of this, you know, this mass weapon of destruction. Because I believe pornography is a, another form of a weapon of mass, of mass destruction. That in music. But I believe pornography has had a way more of a detrimental effect on younger guys, older guys. It's ruined a lot of marriages. It's ruined a lot of relationships. It's ruined a lot when it comes to men. It ruins your self, it, it ruins your self confidence, it lowers your testosterone. It makes you doubt yourself. It makes you it makes you fearful. 
of of life. You become more and more fearful of uh, of the uncertainty. The more times you consume it, the more it's going to fry your neurons. The more it's going to fry your brain. So, like I said, this has to be put to an end. And the more people that can that can step up and bring the word and let people know that this is a dangerous, dangerous addiction. And the quicker we can put a stop to pornography, but less people, less people have to step up and make that change and stop consuming it because it is killing you. It is slowly killing you. What you see on that computer screen is not real. You are being fed an illusion and you are believing that illusion every day. It's a weapon formed against you and you're led and you're letting that weapon prosper against you. You're letting it control your mind. You're letting it manipulating your mind. Because their job, you have to understand, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this one more, one more thing. I'm, I'm going to wrap up this entire video. I'm going to say this one more thing. Pornography, they make pornography enticing to the viewer through images, through videos, whatever. You know, through a woman's body. So enticing that you, you keep coming back for more. You keep coming back for more and you keep on relapsing and relapsing and relapsing because the more times it gets hooked onto your mind, your subconscious mind, it's hard for you to move on from it. It's hard for you to detach from that illusion. This is all part of the matrix. And last time I checked, we supposed to unplug. God's chosen people are supposed to unplug from this matrix. I'm telling you right now, when it comes to this illusion, you have to unplug. You have to unplug. I know I've been kind of over the place with this topic, but I'm trying to make a point here. I'm trying to let y'all know pornography is so, so deeply dangerous. It's so dangerous. It may not look like anything. It may not seem like anything. You may, you may think it may not have an effect on me. It may not do anything to my subconscious mind. But I'm telling you, the long-term effects, bro, are real. The long-term effects of pornography viewing is real. It's real. You can't look at it from the short term. You got to look at it from the long term. And long term, it's messed up a lot of guys' life. It's messed up a lot of marriages, a lot of relationships, a lot of, you know, a man's career. Potential. Don't let pornography be your future. Don't let pornography enslave you. Enslave you into your sexual perverted thoughts. You need to break that pattern. You need to break that pattern right now and unplug. Because if I can do it, y'all can do it too. Y'all can do it too. You, you just have to toughen the fuck up. And you, you have to take a fucking stand. And not let this control you anymore. You need to find that inner fire inside of you that is telling you that this is no good for your health. It's no good for your future. Think about all the other, all the actors that are doing these scenes. Think, think of how much, how much trauma they are experiencing right now. Think of how much shit they are dealing with right now. Think of all the, uh, all the drugs you're taking because they're heavy on drugs. They're heavy on drugs. If you, if you, if you, think, if you think that these pornography actors are not heavy on drugs, you, you, you are sorely, sore, sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. Because they are. And that's how they get through all these scenes. Hours and hours and hours of content that they have to produce. 
But you have to understand that the, the, the end game for this, the end game is to mind manipulate you and to, and to think in pornography is real. That sex is real. Like sex like that, what you're seeing on a computer screen is real. But that's real sex. That's really much real emotion. That's real love. And it's not. It's not. That's the, that's the devil's work being done right there. And we've been consuming the devil's work for a long fucking time. For a long, long time, man. It's the ultimate weapon formed against you. If there's anything you need to take away from this video, man, is that pornography is the ultimate weapon that is formed against you, against your subconscious mind. So with that being said, man, make sure I like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to everybody that, that, that needs to see it. Share it to your close friends, share it to a family member, whoever. Share it to your best friend, share it to your homies. Whoever needs to see it, whoever you, who, whoever you think needs to see it, let them watch this video. So I'm out. Y'all have a great day. Peace.